Good evening. A powerful blast has killed at least 19 people in the Thai capital, Bangkok, and injured more than 100. The bomb went off near a well-known Hindu shrine in an area popular with tourists packed with five-star hotels and offices. Police say the scale of the attack is unprecedented. Witnesses at the scene described terrible injuries and devastation. The Thai government says it believes foreigners were the target. The bomb went off during rush hour close to the Erowan Shrine in the city center. Our Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head arrived at the scene minutes after the explosion. The former Foreign Secretary David Miliband has become the latest senior Labour figure to warn of the dangers of electing Jeremy Corbyn as party leader. He said the left winger would take Labour backwards. This report from our political correspondent Vicky Young contains some flash photography. An Iraqi businessman whose family was held hostage by Islamic State militants has been helping to smuggle other hostages out of territory held by so-called Islamic State. He is part of an international smuggler network that's managed to rescue hundreds of people. However, there are concerns that the money given to smugglers to get people out is going straight to Islamic State. Our correspondent Nafisa Kunavad has the story. That's all from us. Don't forget you can get a first look at tomorrow's front pages on the BBC News Channel now and over on BBC Two in a few moments. Newsnight examines the implications for Labour of a Jeremy Corbyn victory. But now on BBC One it's time for the news where you are. Good night. Good evening. Lord Coe says he is committed to cracking down on drug cheats after he was elected as the new president of the world governing body of athletics, the IAAF. The Olympian who secured London's 2012 Games is taking control of the organization at a time when the sport is mired in allegations of widespread doping. Today, the marathon world record holder, Paula Radcliffe, said there was no need for athletes to make their blood data public because there are risks it could be misinterpreted. Here's our sports editor Dan Roan. His report contains some flash photography. The number of migrants reaching the borders of the European Union has hit a record high. Over 100,000 migrants arrived at the EU's borders last month, according to new figures released by its border agency. That is more than triple the amount recorded last July. Today, the German government said up to 800,000 refugees could arrive in Germany alone this year. Many of the migrants trying to make it to Europe are coming through the Balkans. There were 45,000 illegal border crossing there in the first quarter. Migrants hoping to travel on to northern Europe are congregating in border towns on the edge of Europe. Many end up here in the town of Givgelia. Chris Buckler reports from a border town that is overwhelmed. In Thailand say they believe the main suspect in Monday's bomb attack in Bangkok was a foreigner who was part of a network. They've released a sketch of the man and issued an arrest warrant for him. 20 people were killed in the explosion at a shrine in the city and more than 120 were injured. Jonathan Head reports from Bangkok. Islamic State militants in Syria have murdered the man who was in charge of the famous Antiquities Museum at Palmyra. The 81-year-old, who'd spent most of his life looking after the ancient ruins of Palmyra, was beheaded. Khaled al-Assad had devoted his life to the site, which is famous around the world as one of the best-preserved ancient cities.